Hello everyone, just a quick introduction. You remember this uh, Express LRS all-in-one board, the 2.4 gigahertz version with the little ceramic antenna right down there. Well, I transitioned that into the Mobula 7 V4 frame, which is what this is. Also, uh, it's 75 millimeter frame and uh, running some 40 millimeter Z props from Newbie Drone. Uh, of course, I've got my jumper T-Lite and I've got my Express LRS module right here in the back. Let's get out to the field. So I'm gonna sit my caboose down in my chair. I sit to fly. Standing is not something I enjoy. I have a little bit of a left knee problem anyway, so sitting is always better for me. Plus I get a little bit uh, off kilter if I try to stand and fly. I can only do very basic flying if I'm standing up. But we're going to go down my trail, the trail that's, well, it's not my trail, it's a public trail, and we're going to go clear down to the side, and you see on the right-hand side of the screen, I have got a screenshot from Google Maps, and we've used Google's measuring tool uh, for a total distance of over 1,400 feet. Uh, meters is 428 meters. Now, if you remember back when I did the uh, SPI receiver test, uh, that was part of the another Express LRS video, uh, we got to 247 meters. And, and this is going to get all the way out to the end. I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. This is not a range test, but I do go beyond kind of just what you might think of just flying. I, uh, we are going to see a failure, and we will see if you're eagle-eyed where it says RX loss. Now, this is, again, this is not a range test. If we wanted to actually test range, we'd want clear line of sight. We'd want to be up in the air, further off the ground. Uh, so this is just kind of me out having fun. We were out in this field one particular day, so I grabbed this stuff so I could uh, just try it out and see what had happened. So we're going to go down here to the end of the trail. Uh, again, 420-some meters away, over 1,400 feet. No problem. Get the 200-milliwatt VTX in there up between a couple of trees. Circle back around, come back. No problem whatsoever. But I'm going to fly all the way back. And you may have noticed some wind too when I was kind of cockeyed there. I'd be kind of at a 10 or 15 degree angle when I was on the way to the corner. Uh, between these trees that you see on the right and left, uh, some wind can whip through there from time to time. And of course, with a little mobula or other sorts of whoop, those things tend to uh, push us around a little bit. But I'm going to go all the way back to where me and my son are sitting. And then I'm going to decide to go one more time. And that's probably where you want to see. Because this is where we're actually going to see with the video go out. And right at the end of the snow when the video just kind of closes out on us, we'll see RX loss. Again, this is not uh, a dig on Express LRS or it's not a range test. This is just, you know, environmental, having some fun. Again, it's been very rainy. We actually have had, most recently, this was actually last week when we did this. But most recently, we have had uh, some really warm weather, upper 80s and uh, hardly any wind. So the last couple of days were, have been pretty nice and warm. Uh, but during this period of time, as you can see all those clouds in the sky, pretty much daily showers. So humidity was very, very high. It would actually be cold. We had some low 60 degree days during the, the kind of the peak hours of the day. And then it was getting down into the low 50s overnight. Uh, really strange weather pattern that hit us here about a week ago. But we're clearing about halfway on our second pass here. Now there's that wind again, kind of shoving it around a little bit, making it shudder a little bit. If you're curious about the props, they are from Newbie Drone. Um, you can see about getting them overseas, but I think you're probably going to have to turn to AliExpress. I did find that AliExpress uh, had some Newbie Drone products on their site. Now, we're getting close to the end, and I'm going to do something kind of silly. I'm going to turn this corner, and wait, 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 wait. Oh, did you see it? Okay, go back. Go back. Let's see that last little bit again. Going down to the corner. We're going to go down to the corner, and we're going to turn this corner. Everything's fine. Oh, video just went, and I disarmed. So then, of course, it's time. Go walking. Here's about the point where it starts to come back, and we're actually really pretty close. I mean, I, we couldn't be more than 50 meters away when we start to get some video back. And then it starts to become more clear as uh, we walk around the corner. And, uh, yeah, so 200 milliwatts gets us quite a ways line of sight, but once we get buried behind some relatively thick and probably very well hydrated greenery, not going to penetrate that very well probably be better around buildings and structures that don't have so much uh, built up moisture within them. That video is nice and clear. Now you'll see, uh, I think my son picks it up here in just a moment. Yep. 
I'm checking the goggles. There's him. Well, it might not have been impressive, or it might not have been something that's 33 kilometers out. You know, the the 200 milliwatt VTX with the UFL connector on there. This is definitely an improvement in video, and I'm excited to see that. As well as the Express LRS. You know, we weren't getting anywhere near that with SPI receivers. You know, again, straight line of sight. We were very fortunate to get 250 meters, or, or a little over 800 feet. This particular one, I took it all the way down to 426 meters, which is over 1,400 feet. Turned a corner, pretty much couldn't see what I was doing anymore, but, anymore, but we caught that glimpse of the RX loss. So I, I do, again, I think Express LRS is going to solve a lot of problems when it comes to micros. Uh, it's probably going to improve things for the rest of you that are doing long range, bigger flying vehicle sort of flying. Uh, but when it comes to micros, we can finally get rid of, well, we might not be able to get rid of it, but hopefully we have the option of ordering these Express LRS. And if you've got a module, then you don't have to worry about FR Sky radios and not being compatible or SBI range being terrible. You'll know that, you know, you'll be able to get out a long ways, even with a tiny little micro and a ceramic antenna that's within the quad. So I, I, I'm i excited about this. I think I've made three or four videos about this. Uh, the next time I make a video about it, it'll only be about a new product, at least I hope, unless there are some ideas that you guys want me to do. Of course, range testing isn't something I like to do because that can draw, true range testing, I mean, that can draw attention that I don't care for and I don't want. I, this is my hobby. I want to keep it fun. I don't want to be stressed. Uh, I do know that Pyrodrone, thanks to Cliff Brown, Pyrodrone is now carrying these boards. Uh, I'm not sure about the receiver, but again, I'll poke around uh, for the add-on module. The add-on module, again, is only for the T-Lite. It does not currently work for other radios. You could probably make it work if you have that knowledge and skill set, uh, but it is designed and made for the jumper T-Lite. Uh, and the Express LRS all-in-one flight controller board, ESC, all that. Uh, we'll have links down in the video description. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.